Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gears of War. Now, this time we're going to have a look at some of the bonus stuff. We've completed the main game. That's all done. We've seen all the uh, cinematics as we've played through the game. Um, there's a couple here that are unlocked. I looked into this. Uh, we should have unlocked them. Not sure why we haven't. Uh, but whatever. We know what those are. And we have the concept galleries. Now these are unlocked by um, completing the campaigns uh, one through five. And these are really cool. Distincto maximum security prison. I don't think you can like zoom in or anything, which is a shame. And then we've got the House of Sovereigns. And I, I just love, absolutely love the architecture and just the art style of this game. Stunning. Troika battle, yes, yeah, so we remember that room, running through that door, coming up here, shooting him in the face, and chucking a grenade over here. What these um, images remind me of is um, kind of like photos, like war journal photos. Embry Square. Kind of makes you think of, um, you know, someone in the group was a war photographer or something. Got the factory. Empire Streets. Ah, the stranded camp as well. The Krill Grill. I like that. I mean, it still kind of looks quite homely, really. Until the, uh, you know, grubs turn up. And then everybody dies. Viaducts. Don't really see any viaducts there, but. <laughs> whatever. <clears throat> And again, look, this looks like after a big battle's gone down. And, um, you know, that sign is suspiciously clean, though. Um, you know, Troika's still smoking away. Really cool. And you can see the industrial design on these uh, fans here as well, which I really do enjoy. And then the Lathena Emulsion Factory. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. Emulsion mines. This is where we fought the. Um, uh, I always call them broken fingers, but that's not what. Uh, corpser, that's it. Emulsion factory interior. <laughs> the mine carts, which was all good fun. And the Phoenix estate. Bit of a rich boy, Mr. Mr. Phoenix. Who's conservatory? Like, who has something like this? <clears throat> East Barricade to the... Oh, yeah, that's the Academy, wasn't it? Yeah. And then Adam Phoenix's lab. Very cool. And, of course, no rich person is complete without their very own wine cellar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tim Gad Central Energy Extractor. Stranded massacred. They were. It was horrific. There's the bridge from the uh, extra missions that were thrown into this version. Nemesis ink skies. I like the fact that the Nemesis kind of ink the skies up as well. It's cool. Makes them feel like really alien. <clears throat> and they, they kind of, well, oh, they're not alien, but yeah, we'll, we'll find more out about those anyway. Look at the shadows they cast here. Really cool. This looks proper end of the world stuff. <clears throat> Which is fitting, because that's kind of the point. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the uh, bonus concept art. Now, there's comics here. Um, there's five comics you got um 16 15 17 18 and 8 it's these are cool um i don't know why they've particularly chosen these ones because uh the, i mean they're kind of out of order like that one should that, that's 15 so that should be there and then 16 17 18 but then you've got eight it's kind of odd <clears throat> now i 
I didn't know really how to do this. I was thinking about just like reading them out. But that would take considerably more time than I actually have. So I think we're just going to have a quick skim through these. Now, I would imagine that these are easily available online um, if you do want to read them. And I've, I've kind of, I haven't read them because I just haven't had time. But I've, <clears throat> that's not true. I did read the last one, Harper's Story, which was really good. Uh, also, there's a lot of like spoilery stuff here. This is, the, I mean, the first few books are set before Emergence Day. You know, as it as it kind of said through uh, the Pendulum Wars, but Harper's story is actually set halfway through um, Gears of War Two, and it's really, really good, really good. But uh, I think these are all done by like different artists and things. Um, obviously, you're not really going to be able to read this stuff anyway, unless we really zoom in. And even then, it's just like a bit of a pig to navigate. But, you know, it th these are cool bonuses. I question... I don't know, man. Like, they, they don't seem like very long either. I don't know whether they've... Especially when it comes to Harper's story, I don't know where the pages are missing. Um, which I'll kind of go into on Harper's story. But during the Pendulum Wars, Marcus' father, Adam Phoenix, must decide whether to continue fighting on the front lines or become a weapons developer. Look at the look at this. this is so cool. Just like the overall art style. I mean, if you're really into your comics, you probably really enjoy this, I suppose, if you like Gears of War anyway. Um, yeah, I've never really been into comics or superheroes or anything like that. With one exception, <clears throat> I actually really did like um, Punisher Max comics. Uh, I also read the Preacher comics. And what else did I read? And the Boys comics as well. The Boys, the comic, is so, so much different <laughs> to the series. I mean, the series is good. For completely different reasons, but yeah, it, it, they're not the same. Phoenix. Oh, it's a young Phoenix by the look of things. Oh, wait a minute. That's before the events of Gears of War. Marcus, a young soldier in the Cog Army. Ah, interesting. Very interesting. Look at young Marcus there. He doesn't look like a tree trunk yet. I wouldn't be touching that stuff if I was you. Just saying. Stay well clear of the emulsion. <clears throat> I hope I'm not getting sick. God damn it. Ah, all bunged up all of a sudden. I mean, I don't even know where you would have um, got these uh, comics and things from, to be honest. I guess they were just like available in very select retailers or something, or maybe you could order them. I'm not really sure. It's kind of like the Halo comics. Um, that literally, I've never seen a Halo comic out in the wild ever. So I can imagine they weren't the easiest thing to uh, get hold of. And Harper's story. This is the one that I actually read. This was really cool. It goes into like Russ Lung and. Um, the invasion <clears throat> in the second game, which I'm not going to talk too much about because we'll wait for the second game. Excuse me. Um, so this goes into the massive, great big grind lifts that humanity employed in the thousands, or at least the hundreds, I guess, to um, drop soldiers into the hive. What, you you thought the light mass bomb ended the war? Please. 
But this is cool. Like his entire battalion gets like exterminated, and you can see like all the mu like stuff they did to the humans. Yeah, they had fun with the humans, you know. I mean, it's war, right? Why not? I guess. Um, but our boy Harper here manages to break out, punches one of these grubs in the face, and escapes. And then it kind of like, you know, one, two, miss a few here because it goes on about how he's trying to escape these guys and he wants to, you know, see the sky again. And that's like the whole thing of him wanting to get out and see the sky. And then in the next panel, uh, he's like back fighting again somehow. Um, yeah, I thought that was a bit weird. Just it, we're just going to gloss over how he got back to the squad. And then he gets his opportunity to go back up. And uh, I saw the sky again today. I never thought I'd see it again. But I escaped. I made it. I survived the hollow. Yeah, uh, get the. F it's like there's seven or eight pages missing here. I don't know. It's, I don't know if there actually is or if this is how the comic is. And then all of a sudden, oh, there's a family here, by the way. So, I guess there's a, he's waiting for a helicopter, King Raven. King Raven lands. There's, there's people there, like a family, for reasons, I guess. They teleported there, I guess. So, he defends them whilst they run to the helicopter. Gets killed. I got that little girl and her family on that King Raven. Yeah, did you see? Did you see the problem here? I'm guessing that there's pages missing. And then, no medics around now, but that's okay. The sky is so bright, and I finally feel all right. Warm, even. She said she'd pray for me. She said she'd pray for all of us. I don't know who's meant to be praying. There was no mention of that in the comic. So, again, I think pages are missing. Um, and there we go. Yeah, I mean, that, that's basically the comics. I don't know if they're all like that. If they're all, like, you know jumping around it's kind of a bit odd but um yeah i mean as bonuses and perks go pretty good pretty good i enjoyed that anyway guys that's about all there is bonus wise so i don't know how i'm gonna upload this uh, i think the last video is probably going to be quite long so we'll probably just finish uh, the next day finish this off the next upload schedule and then ladies and gentlemen we're going on to a new project. <gasps> what could it be? Well, by the time you're watching this, it's already uploaded and, and done. Um, and right this very second now, I only have a vague idea of what it is. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.